It might be hard to imagine, but 10 years ago, Syria was a cultural hub, alive with literature, art, and music. Before the war, healthcare and education were free to all Syrians, and people flocked to the country to study medicine, languages, and Arabic literature. But in the past decade, Syria has become a country devastated by conflict. 40% of Syria's schools are damaged or completely destroyed, and only nine public hospitals are left standing in the northwest, where most displaced children and families live. So what happened? And what's the situation for Syrian children today? It all started in March 2011, with peaceful demonstrations across the country calling for a change in leadership and a fresh new start. But the peaceful march quickly gave way to violence. Warring sides eventually took up arms, violence escalated, and streets, once characterized by sleepy tree-lined boulevards, descended into a decade-long civil war, resulting in the suffering of more than 12 million Syrians. For many years since, Syria has ranked last on the Global Peace Index, making it the most violent country in the world. To protect their children, families fled their homes and the only life they knew. It's now estimated there are 5.6 million Syrian refugees, with another 6.2 million people displaced within Syria itself. Life expectancy has dropped by 13 years. Four out of five Syrians live in poverty, and at least half the people affected by this crisis are children. World Vision jumped to respond quickly, beginning with Syrian families who fled to Lebanon in 2011. Since then, our work has expanded to Turkey, Jordan, and into Syria itself. Over the last 10 years, we have been on the ground supporting nearly 6.5 million Syrian children with education, healthcare, clean water, and more. But now is the time to say enough is enough. The violence must end. Children need to believe in peace again. Ten years of conflict can't become ten more. Together, we can help Syria's children survive, recover, and build a future. <laughs>